Hey, how's it going? Uh, this tutorial, I want to cover how to create um, threaded holes um, using the hole tool in Onshape. Um, the hole tool is nice because you're able to create holes and parts um, and put the thread in automatically uh, so we don't have to um, um, build the hole ourselves and make our own physical threads. I just do want to note that the threads that do are put into um, our holes using the hole tool, they are cosmetic threads so that you will see them only in the drawing. You will not see them in the actual part or assembly, but they will show up in the drawing. Um, that's why they're called cosmetic threads. So I have this part here. This is the base. Um, this is from the uh, double bearing lab. And so this base has got six holes in it um, for these hex cap screws to go in through from the cap to the base. Um, the holes themselves for the cap are 0.516 in diameter, but they are not threaded. However, they are threaded in the base part. The part, the base, they are threaded holes. Um, as you can see, there's six of them. 0.5 is the um, hole type, 13 UNC, so that's uh, 13 threads, uh, Unified National Core Series thread. Um, the depth of the hole is 1.125. So we're going to plug that information into our hole tool to create the threads automatically. So we can use the hole tool by um, selecting this hole here. Um, and we're given options for simple counter bore and counter sink, so we can create a counter bore hole or a counter sink or a simple hole um, as well. Um, now we can set the standards. Um, so ANSI for inches, we use ISO for uh, metric. Um, hole type, if it's tapped, that means there's threads in it. Drilled means there's no threads. Um, so we can set the, the size of the hole, the threads per inch, um, and this chain. The threads per inch changes depending on the um, size of the hole. So because this is going to be a one half hole, we're plugged in. We get an option for 13, 20, or 28 threads per inch that go standard for this hole on the ANSI standard. Um, we're going to use 13 thread threads per inch because that's what it wants us to do. But we're not going to worry about the diametric engagement. We're going to leave that default. And the only thing we'll ever need to really change is this depth. And that's how far we want to actually cut in our hole. Uh, 1.125 is the depth listed here. Okay. Um, now the thing about this is um, we can use this select make connectors, and then we can um, um, we have a couple places that we and they're generally like endpoints and midpoints and um, holes. So that it doesn't really work out well. Uh, for what we need to do for this part. So we're going to end up having to use a sketch to point out where we want the holes. But you can just use this, but you're going to have to snap to, you know, major vertices. Um, but for our case, we're going to need to sketch on top of the surface. So we're going to go ahead and sketch on the surface here so we can show where these uh, threads are going are gonna to be. Um, I'm going to start off and I built this part in a way so that my um, origin is um, halfway through my uh, part. I'm going to use a construction line here, line it up with this origin point, and point it where it's in half. And then I also want to do another construction line. And I would like to, it's going to be in line with this point here. I built this in a way where I know that these lines here are going to end up being where these points of the hole are going to be located. Okay. So now I just kind of kind of plug in where the holes are going to be. I'm going to use the points to do this. So I'm just going to drop some points in, snap them to these lines. Um, technically, it's going to be at the origin, but I'll, I'll plug it in just so you can see. Um, put those in, and then we'll dimension. So from this point to this point is going to be 1.5. Okay. And I know that from this point to the front is going to be 0.75 plus 0.5. So 
So I'll dimension from here to here. 0.5 plus 0.75. Okay, so those are set. Those holes are set. Uh, these two holes, they're going to be 0.5 away from the edge completely. So we'll plug those in. And really this point here will end up being technically the origin. So I really didn't need to put it. I could just use the origin, but I'll put it just so you can see. Um, and then the other two, they're just. I'm just going to use the previous ones I have here. I have them selected. I'm going to mirror them about this line there. So now my other two holes are there, exactly where they need to be. I built this symmetrically. That way I can utilize it. Okay, that's it. So we got our hole points where they're going to be. Now we can use the hole tool. So we're going to go to isometric so you can see what's going on. Um, we'll use the hole tool. Okay, the simple hole. We're not doing countersink or anything. Um, ANSI tapped half inch is the size of the hole. 13 threads per inch. The depth of the hole is 1.125. And now we're going to use sketch three. So I select sketch three. Um, and I don't want it. So it's going to automatically pick like all the vertices. So I don't want that or this vertice. I don't want a hole here. So I'll click that so, and I don't want a hole here. That automatically selects all vertices that are in that drawing. So uh, I just deselected them. So now all that's left is those points. And that's it. We'll click check. And we have our threaded holes. They will show up threaded in the drawing, um, but they will not show up. They don't look threaded here. So in the drawing itself, the, this will be threaded. Um, so to kind of show this off, let's create a drawing real quick just so you can see what it will look like in the drawing. Um, I'm just going to do, we don't, I don't technically need a drawing like this for this base part for this assignment, but um, I'm going to just create one real quick just so you can see what these threaded holes will look like uh, for the base. This here. This here. And so what ends up happening if I uh, show hidden lines, you're going to see a couple things. So you should see, so how this looks is we have the hole itself is this longer hidden line that comes all the way down and then the bottom of the tap drill hole. Um, and then this outside hidden line is the outside major diameter of the thread itself. Well, they show up in the drawing, but they don't show up... Um, they show up in the drawing, but not in the actual part itself. So that's how we'll uh, create threaded holes in this class. We'll use the hole tool, um, and we'll use um, the settings for the different, whether it's ANSI inches for an, an imperial document and ISO for metrics threads.